What's up y'all, Sean here. So this video is pack two of my DJI Avada 2 three pack series. Boy, that was a mouthful. But uh, the first flight was with the FPV Remote 3, I believe. And this, is, this flight is going to be with the Motion Controller 3, um, also known as the Brad. Um, in this video, um, the, the flight is pretty good until I get to the easy acro modes. And the easy acro modes are not very easy to understand, um, very complicated. So this video was a little frustrating, but I left it in here for you guys to see because um, everything is not uh, roses and rainbows uh, when it comes to this stuff. Um, so after I couldn't figure out how to do the easy acro modes in this video, I decided to go into sport mode and finish the video out. But um, yeah, watch this video and when uh, you want to see how the easy acro modes actually work, uh, the third video will finish it up with um, some knowledge. Uh, I ended up bringing it bringing the bird down, watching a YouTube video on how to actually do it, and then I did it. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, let's get into it, y'all. All right, y'all, this is Battery 2. We are flying this with the Brad. Um, otherwise known as the Motion Controller 3 at this point, I think. Yep, pretty sure. All right, so on the screen, um, this is for, this will be like a flight for beginners that use the controller that comes with the Fly More Pack or the regular Avada Pack. Um, so it says make sure your area is safe and press the lock button twice to start the propellers. So um, what that means is you wanna look around you and make sure that all I can do right now is kind of look up and look down. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, but you know, you really wanna look around and make sure that there's nothing around you when you go to fly. And then the lock button is this huge orange button on the Brad. So we're gonna double tap it. And it's very rough to the feel, so um, I, I don't like I don't like the position of things right now compared to the other motion controllers because my maybe I just have a short thumb or something. But um, but pff, the bug just walked across my face. Um, all right, let's hit it. So double tap, motor started. Um, now see, there's instructions over to the right on the screen, so. Motor starting, press and hold the lock button to take off. Um, and it's important to point your controller kind of forward or like, you know, like hold it straight in front of you instead of pointing it somewhere because your motion actually controls the drone at this point. So, oh, I turned it off. And I don't know if you guys can see what, we're, what I'm looking at right now, but, um, we're, yeah, we're recording, so we're good. Um, so the motion controller works like a VR headset, so I can go in here, change settings, do all that stuff. Um, pretty cool. Um, and I can even see what videos, or no, I can change the video to photo mode, I can change settings, um, but uh, we're not gonna get into camera settings in these videos. Um, so yeah, I need to get out of that. Let's go ahead and get her up in the air, y'all. All right, y'all. So what I was saying earlier is if you point, you know, you point it down, you're gonna be looking down. Um, that's up, oh, it's got, it's got markers. Like you can only go up that high and you can only go down that high. All right, let's pull the trigger and get it down. Oh, the trigger didn't work. Oh yeah, I always forget about that. Whoa, what? 
Y'all, it flies awesome with the with the uh, Brad. All right, let's get up through here. I want to go over here in this area. I want to get kind of a safe area. I know there's power lines right above me, but I want to fly around a safe area because I saw a couple people were walking around um, and I don't want, I'm not as familiar with this controller as I am the sticks. So look at that beautiful sunrise. I mean, it's kind of risen at this point, but that looks pretty good. Uh, oh, sticks, 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 weeds. Whoa, got a little too close there. Um, for all you beginners out there, um, those uh, those weeds and those sticks will jump out of you, jump out at you, you know, at a moment's notice. Um, the good thing is the drone that you've decided to purchase is, um, you know, it's got bumpers on it, so uh, we're not going to go cut grass or trim trim hedges or anything with this drone. But um, it's still annoying when you get hit, um, and. Even though there are kind of orange bumpers in front of the camera, um, there's nothing directly in front of the camera. So um, with my original Levada, there's been, if you hit a stick, those sticks go, those sticks don't hit the bumpers, they just slam right into your camera. And so I had um, a situation where my camera, it like pulled my camera straight down, and then I had to fly the rest of the flight with my camera down and brought it back, put the camera back in the right position and everything was fine, but, um, but I thought I'd broken my camera. So just try not to hit things. That's, that's a great, let's see if I can go around this pole. Whoa, I almost hit the pole. Dang, that was responsive. That was too responsive for me. Um, and we're going 17 miles an hour, but in the goggles, it doesn't look like you're going 17 miles an hour. Even when you're close to the ground, like, this should feel really, really fast, but it kind of doesn't. Like, it feels like I'm floating, but, um, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna go through the ballpark, but we're gonna be up high so I don't hit anybody in the head. We're gonna go through here. See, look how super responsive that is, y'all. So I think anybody um, who is trying to get into this hobby, I think the motion controller is the best thing for beginners because you don't have to worry about what the left stick does what the right stick does you know am i going up or am i going fat like is this the throttle or is this the altitude and y'all and pitch and yada 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 um you know when you get your first avada you don't want to deal with all that yada yada um so yeah all right so I've got, oh we got kona ice nice I don't know why I started rhyming in this video, but I'm a I'm from Music City, y'all. That's what we do. We write songs. Even the lamest of person writes a song here and then. Oh, we're gonna hit this gap. Full throttle. Woo! I just got a haircut, y'all. Man, I shouldn't have done that. That <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I didn't realize I was full throttle. 17 miles an hour, <laughs> right towards my head. Um, oh my gosh, what, what am I thinking? All right, so what do we want to do? We want to try the, the little modes. So I, I don't know that I can do anything while I'm recording, which is stupid. Can I, can I work the controls while I'm flying? Oh yeah, I can. I can't do it with the controller. Head tracking, we're going to try that in a minute. Um, easy acro. Recording in process, unable to use. So we are going to, that's stupid. So you have to turn this on before your flight. So we're gonna stop recording. And we're going to turn Easy Acro on. All right, we're in, there we go. All right, let's hit record again. And hopefully you can see what's on the screen. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go And get up in the air in a safe spot. All right, we're 60 feet up in the air. We are, as you can see, we are completely nothing around us. All right, so
Alright, let's see. Alright, no instruction on how to do the easy thing. Alright, how do we how do we figure this out? It's got like Do I just flip it or something? All right, let's, we got it on. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you move your controller sideways, it'll just do kind of a 180 degree. And now I point my camera close, and then if I do the other direction, it's still going in the same direction. All right, let's get, let's get it going slow, and we'll try. Okay, so it looks like I'm drifting 180 degrees. That's gonna take a little bit to get used to. All right, so let's see what foot looks like. Did that not work? Oh, none, none of these things are working yet. I don't know what is happening. I don't understand. All right, y'all. So this is not intuitive. I wish there was a, like something that told me what to do. So I can get into the modes. Oh, that's a new one. So did you know <laughs> that if you double tap the little remote that it goes into goes into the first person view. So not sure how to use this, y'all. I definitely know how to choose it. the mode button do oh all right so the mode does button doesn't have anything to do with this feature it's got to be like a flip or something whoa I just freaked the drone out we can go backwards very slow let's see who's Car over there. Um, all right, we haven't thrown it into sport mode. Let's let's go into sport mode. We're not going to get close to anything, but we're going to see how fast she goes. In sport mode, 35 miles an hour, y'all. I mean, I guess there's there's purpose for this. Like, I can chase that car that's going 35 miles an hour over there. Um, and if you were chasing like race cars or drift cars or something like that, um, a sport mode would be good. Let's see what sport mode looks like down close to the ground. I'm not going to get too close to the ground because 35 miles an hour hitting some, hitting a stick is pretty. I don't know if the 360 camera's on it still, but. No, I'm, I'm gonna run right into my camera if I do that. All right, let's see how far we can go over here. And there should be a neighborhood on the other side of these trees. <coughs> I 
got 30% battery. I don't know if this is the time I should be going away from the, the home point. But that's pretty good. All right, wires. Get above the wires. Yep, we're above the wires. We're gonna come down, we're gonna hit this gap near the wires. Whee! Go under the wires. Test and fate. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna take it out of sport mode before I All right, so we got a low battery warning at 24. So, um, especially for the beginners, um, but I would encourage everybody to come in as soon as your battery gets low, because it just, I don't know if you could see it, but it went from 24 to 23 pretty quick. And if you're flying in sport mode, it will drain the battery a lot faster. All right, y'all, that was pack two. Uh, stick around for pack three. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications when I put out more videos on the DJI Avada 2.